Good morning. It's 6 a.m. We're going sword fishing today. Well, by we, I mean my, uh, me. Couldn't get anyone to come with me. I haven't caught a fish in about three trips. I think three trips, two or three. But I don't know if you can see the flag over there. It's pretty much a slicker. Should be a nice day calling less than five mile an hour winds all day. So I'm going solo, going to the far grounds. And I'm um, gonna give it hell. Just made it to the sword spot. Um, one of my favorite things about this spot is it's about an hour and 40 minute ride and I didn't see a single boat on the way. Came onto this weed line when I was going to reset. It's just too nice not to fish. Looks like we got mahi all around. Maybe just grab one for dinner. It's just hundreds of them. They're all small, but there's one guy over there. That's our keeper right there. See if we can't get him hooked up. Big, big cow, big cow. Smashed it. Big cow, baby. I was to get the gap on myself. Yeah, baby. Hopefully she doesn't go berserk. That was pretty awesome. Short distraction with all these weed lines. I'm out here trying to swordfish, but weed lines are too beautiful. Look at that. Does not get much better. Holy crap. Gorgeous fish. Got a bucket with some triple tail on it. None of which look big enough. So I'm not going to bother throwing a lure at them. Let's see if we can't get a shot of these guys. Oh, some more mahi too. Yeah, just little guys. These guys, they raise the limit. They got to be 18 now. All these guys are under 5, 14. Some a lot smaller. Pretty slow with the sword so far. Not a single bite yet. So, setting up for our third drop. So I don't know how well you can see this, but on a pretty crazy ledge in 1,500 feet. Um, the sword bites are nearly slow, so we're going to Try and drop some squids on it on a deep drop rig. So we got picked to death, took all the bait, but apparently there's a bunch of rosies down there and 1,500 feet. Pretty impressive that they're that deep. But that's a stud. Big as far as rosies go. One of the best eating fish out here. So uh, we ran a little ways. Setting up on another drop, new territory. Something fresh to look at. There's actually current here so we can fish it the way that we're supposed to. We'll see what happens. So I came tight. Thought I had a golden uh, crab trap, which will act really, really heavy, but you can't get it all the way up. But now I'm, I'm well off the bottom and it's still acting funky, but kind of seems like a shark. Comes the weight. This fish is gonna be up top. Oh, there's a bunch of mahi swimming by at the same time. Look at this.
Took out 200 more feet. Killing me, Smalls. Come on, baby. Just stalling out at 100 feet. Doesn't want to come up. There we go. I normally don't let the reel run on auto, but I'm, only, I'm the only one on the boat today, so. A little much to do everything. But I leave the leave the drag nice and light. Let the LP do the work. He's up and down, up and down, up and down. He's running now. He doesn't like that. Woo, he's running, baby. Straight down. Straight down. Down to 300. Woo! Dressing me out. Looked like a nice fish. He's got some ass on him. Maybe a 100 pounder. Tail look pretty girthy. When the tail gets fat, they're typically bigger fish. So he went all the way to the bottom. The current's pushing into the ledge today, so we're all the way up at 900 feet, so that wasn't very far down. Um, but he's coming back up, so he might be doing a second surface. Hopefully we'll get a shot this time. Went down to 1500 revs, now he's coming back up. He's gonna maybe give us a second shot. Hopefully we'll get a chance. And by we, I mean me. So the reel is zeroed out. Now I gotta drive and hold it with my finger. Which is not ideal. Nice fish, nice fish. Right here. Really nice fish. That's not good. That's why you don't do this by yourself. Thought he pulled off there for a sec, about shit my pants. Staying right under the boat. Had him do this before.
Ah, oh, he's pinwheeling with me. Harpoon's in, he's not happy. Woo, I got lucky there. I missed him the first time again. My hand slipped. Luckily, the tip didn't come off. We got a second chance there. Sword guides are with us today, baby. Got to make sure this line doesn't get wrapped around my foot so I don't go for a swim with him. Try and get a gap in this guy. That is a big fish. Not fun when you're doing this alone. Big fish. Big boy, gotta be careful. Gotta get a tail wrap on him. This is the hard part of doing this by yourself. Tail wrap is on, he's caught. Epic, absolutely epic. My biggest solo fish, might be my biggest fish ever. Definitely a nice fish. Yeah. Yeah. Now. How do we get him in the boat? Got him tied off pretty good, hopefully he holds. I got no choice. 